Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We are due for some more challenges. If I sound a little quieter, I'm recording this video a little later at night than I normally do. I'm trying not to wake up my neighbors, you know, to be courteous. What is this one? I I rule. It's a Mega Satan fight with Mom's Knife and Trinity Shield. Let me, oh, and the ladder, the boomer. Oh, it's Zelda. I rule, Hyrule, I get it. It's, oh, you know, it's just one of those Zeldas. Um, this seems incredibly powerful. <laughs> that was terrible opportunities for damage there, but, uh, oh, what makes you larger? It's our favorite pill on these challenges. Um, that's what the brimstone icon is. If you're wondering what that means, it means you're going to Mega Satan. Um, and we start with the key piece, well, the, like the entire key piece completed, which makes sense. Um, and this seems like incredibly easy. You know, one of the hallmarks of these Afterbirth challenges is that some of them are very easy and some of them are extremely difficult. This definitely comes across as one of the ones that is almost borderline automatic. Uh, assuming we get, you know, the requisite kind of upgrades you would expect to get on a floor like this, which is basically like, or on a run like this, which is basically like a couple of HP upgrades from bosses. <laughs> and like, deals with the devil probably as well. Like. I mean, that's the thing with the, the boomerang being able to freeze enemies. Mom's knife becomes so valuable. And we've already gotten our first deal with the devil 54 seconds into the run. We will take demon, baby. Um, it's not a great item for our purposes right now, I think, but it does a great job of giving us precedent for not complete, you know, uselessness. It's not like we just picked up a, a passive item, or sorry, a, an active item we don't even want. So I'm, uh, I'm completely content with that. We'll open up the golden chest and it will work out very nicely for us. Uh, I'm just doing a quick cursory glance to make sure there's no item rooms. If they gave you item rooms on this challenge, I have to think that it would be so easy as to just, like, people would just blow through it in like five minutes. Well, not five minutes, but, you know, like, like less than 20 minutes for sure. Um, so I'm thinking you probably don't get uh, item rooms. It's bad damage on my part, but you do get curse rooms. That's, you know, another outlet we could possibly use. Power pill's great here, saves us the damage from taking the way out, and I'm still like waiting, it just keeps extending by like one more floor every time, and okay, or one more room every time, okay, and okay, now I can't quite call it yet, maybe there are item rooms still, it could happen, uh, and okay, now we're done, this is our shop, so no item rooms, that's completely understandable. The sun card showing up is awesome because it means I don't give a shit if our pill hurts us. Like, that doesn't matter to us at all. It's a tears downgrade, which with Mom's knife is, I would say, negligible. Doesn't really bother us too much. And hopefully some spirit hearts here. One spirit heart is enough to give us a good shot at a deal with the devil on the next floor, considering we're doing so much damage and the ability to freeze an enemy and then walk into them with Mom's knife is incredible. So we are, I mean, completely in the clear. We got everything you would possibly want right now. Good damage, decent defense, HP's fine. Deal with the devil precedent. You know, what more could we want? And we have an excuse to rush, <laughs> which we don't often get. Relish these in the challenges while we have them, because once we get through the challenges, um, you know, we're not going to be able to, uh, to have an excuse to rush at all times, or at any time sometimes. It was a little sneaky, but there was a great play in there you might have missed. I'm tooting my own horn, like, incessantly here, but... Uh, Turning the knife away from the enemy so we didn't kill him and make him explode, you know, all over us there. Probably could have gone with better phrasing there. Was excellent. Uh, even if walking on the spikes completely nullifies about tenfold uh, the uh, the value of that right there. Alright, let's pop this down and blow it up. And A rune is not the worst haul depending on what the rune is. If it's good enough, we'll use our sun card. It's not good enough. This is actually, I mean, it doesn't mean it's bad, it's just not better than the Sun card. However, for a rune that's not really that useful uh, long term, it's extremely useful on this floor to give us the, the added cushion for our deal with the devil because of my own idiocy and losing my spirit heart by walking on the spike, so I'm excited about that. If you're confused about the theme of this run, it's basically just like it's a Legend of Zelda themed run. I think uh, Michael A. L. Fox was telling me about it. So you start with, like, a sword, Mom's Knife. I'm surprised they don't use Guardian Spear, but maybe that item, they wanted it, like, a little bit more under wraps or something. But that is, like, an actual melee item. I, I realize that in a lot of the Zelda games, when you're at full HP, you can, you know, you have a projectile attack, basically. I'm just, still, though, it, like, from a balance standpoint, it seems like it makes it very easy, but, um... Wait a minute, can we go back and get that key, then? I, I always forget that we have the ladder. I'm actually surprised that we remembered in this situation, considering I haven't really used the ladder at all in Afterbirth, I think. I was so convinced that would be our secret room. 
Um, so, we, yeah, we start with a sword and a shield, and the boomerang is a very uh, Legend of zelda e item, of course. I mean, a lot of the inspiration for Vanilla Binding of Isaac, and I'm assuming the subsequent uh, items has come from... Uh, has come from the Legend of Zelda. Like the the very UI that you see. If you've never played like the original Legend of Zelda on NES, uh, you know it's aged. It it doesn't it completely hold up to to modern scrutiny. Although it is an all time classic, but the UI is like exactly the same uh, as as the UI in in Vanilla Binding of Isaac. It's like a huge inspiration. If you haven't played any of the Legend of Zelda games, you know, that's... You, you don't need me to tell you, you should probably get on that. I, myself, am a little bit of a Zelda noob, uh... You know, I've beaten Twilight Princess. That was the first Zelda game I actually ever played, despite being of the age to have definitely played more. And then, after that, I was like, I really like this, so I beat, um... A Link to the Past, which is the Super Nintendo one, which was amazing. And then I, uh, Kate got A Link Between Worlds on... 3DS last year, or two years ago almost at this point, and I was like, you know what, this is like a new Link to the Past. It's really good. Anyway, I would recommend those. But you probably don't need me to be like, oh, wait a minute, Northern Line, are you trying to tell me that The Legend of Zelda is a critically acclaimed game franchise that I should probably play if I get the time? Yeah, you know, like, you gotta knock out the rent, you gotta spend time with your family, but if you got a little bit of extra time after that, your studies, you know, exercise, making sure you pay your taxes, uh, consider knocking out a Legend of Zelda game, you know? It's not World of Warcraft. It's only gonna take you, uh, you know, maybe 20-30 hours, depending on the game, and depending on your puzzle-solving skills. But the genius of, of Zelda puzzle design is that, uh, an idiot like me can still solve them. It just takes a little longer, but if you're, if you're the master, you know, it, it's like, uh, Zelda gives, doesn't give you the puzzle. Zelda gives you the puzzle piece, and you just gotta figure out where to put it. That's the way I would describe it. You know, you jigsaw puzzle, you gotta find the piece, you gotta figure out where to put it. Zelda's like, hey, we just gave you a, we just gave you a boomerang. You know that's gonna be the key to solve this puzzle. You just gotta figure out how to apply it to the environment. So it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit easier for a scrub like me. Why did I take Rainbow Worm, by the way? Cause I'm me, like, I don't think I necessarily need to say any more than that. It's not like I'm some kind of, you know, wild and crazy dude, but I do like to, I like to mix it up with the, uh, with the weird trinkets from time to time. I can't believe I managed to not get hit for as long as I did there. I got wedged in. A bad decision. Fell in with the wrong crowd. I don't know what's up with those watery poops, man. Got a shop. I mean, we could take the stopwatch, but I really feel like we don't need it. Two of clubs? Yeah, sure, we paid five cents for two bombs. That's fine. It's not my favorite trade. I was obviously hoping for a, uh, a Joker card, but... It is what it is. Ooh, we got two of clubs again. So this time we paid uh, a bomb and a key for one bomb. That's a slightly less good trade. And we would have been able to double it pretty effectively if we just waited for that. But that's all right. That is a-okay. Um, let me come down in here. Uh, we used the two of clubs like two rooms ago. And he just said it now. That's freaking me out a little bit. Tyrone, get out of my machine. Is everything okay with that? <laughs> I hope so. Um, just checking, like, it's been lagging a little bit, so I was like, maybe maybe Skype or, like, Gchat running in the background is messing with it, but I don't know. Usually it's a Windows arrow thing. If there's something, like, changing on the display constantly, it causes, like, a little bit of background frame rate loss, but, wait, like, I just say those words so you think I know what I'm talking, or I think I know what I'm talking about, but for the most part, I really don't. Northern Line, you should use the boomerang more. Uh, I know, but I also know. Like, it's... It's not that good. I really like it for freezing bosses. Um, and I guess freezing enemies on, on rooms where crowd control is a little bit of an issue. But as is, uh, I like it uh, enough. But the double damage that it does is not worth the time lost. Like, the opportunity loss. Opportunity cost loss. Whatever you want to fucking call it, okay? Uh, from... Uh, not being able to attack. The difference is with Mom's Knife, as long as we're pointed in the direction we want to be pointed in, we can use it. But the other difference with Mom's Knife is that, uh, you know, if we lose two seconds of attacking, most enemies, or many enemies at least, will die in that two seconds. Shot speed up is fine. Two guppy items, absolutely. Um, I'll take, I'll take them both. The HP is probably not going to be too relevant. 
I don't think we need Guppy's Paw. Uh, you know, if I if I could go back, I might take Guppy's Paw, because it would open up the boss rush room, and it would give us permanent polarite invincibility. But we're fine with the boomerang as well, even though I might prefer to, uh, to have Guppy's Paw. Guppy's Paw did wonders for us on that uh, have a heart. Was it? No. No, it was the daily. Oh, it was the daily yesterday. Um, yeah, Guppy's Paw did wonders for us on that run. But uh, it's not always high value. It's one of those things where, you know, if you use it, you're probably going to get your your investment out. But if you don't get a, if you don't find an opportunity to use it, then you're kind of like, eh, could be better. Health up. Uh, well worth the cost of doing business here. Uh, that was not well worth the cost of doing business. And now I'm like, shit, do we have, <laughs> we only had like four HP. Okay, take this back. I want the sun card back. I'll use bombs rather than my own HP to get it. Yeah, that was that was stupid. Kind of wish we had the Degas rune still, weirdly enough. But as long as we pick up red hearts, don't get hit. I feel okay. Uh, we'll see. If we if we need more red hearts, we can pick this one up. I think we do. I don't think we lost the spirit heart because we had two active, but it was obviously like super mishandled right there. And my apologies for that, because I know, you know, from watching other people play Rebirth, I know shit like that is really frustrating to see. You know, you get really back seedy about it. But that's part of the fun as well, you know? You gotta you gotta pay it forward. I don't know. Oh, man, a little scary. I don't always see my own... Okay, okay, maybe we'll use the sun card just to be safe. I don't always see my own mistakes when I play. Obviously, when I get hit for incredibly stupid damage like that, I do. Um, but then, you know, you watch somebody else play and you go, Hey, you fucking idiot! <laughs> You missed this obvious line of play, and then you, okay, well, now I've got it out of my system. So we only had, like, two red heart containers, which is why I was a little, uh, I might even go so far as to say a little uh, paranoid, overly cautious about, uh, about what my HP looked like, but we've, we've come out of that death spiral. You know, again, like, we should be pretty much good to go here. The only thing that can fuck us over is, okay, you changed into a different enemy right in front of my eyes, but that's all right. Um, the only thing that could really fuck us over is really, really sustained poor play. So, uh, provided we don't make that happen, um, we should be completely okay here. I, I want the sack, but I don't want to go for it, if that makes sense. Like, I just, if I could fly, I'd like it. So this means that when we buy stuff, the, the recycle icon means when we buy stuff, the shop automatically restocks. So the fact that we didn't pick it up first should probably tell you what I feel about it right now. Which is that it's actually a really cool item that I'm just not that interested in right now. Okay, I think here... Oh, lucky us. Here we'll handle the crowd control first. Get that done. Land another free shot, and then Monster 2 is dead. Halo is a fantastic choice for us right now. Basically, we need the HP, so I'm thrilled about that. We could spend some more time on this floor, but I don't know really what we're looking for if we do. Um, I actually thought we had less HP than this, so I'm stoked that I was wrong. Uh, what else do we uh, do we want here? I mean, basically at this point, if we wanted to just ignore deals with the devil, we could. The guppy line is like obvious. Man, I've been playing too much magic. Start calling things lines. Talking about the value of, of certain items. Well, you know, if you hit the, if you get on curve pr appropriately, uh, chocolate milk can be really good. Um, no, but seriously, like, um, if if we get guppy, that's awesome and that's obvious. But uh, if we don't get guppy, it's still fine. Like, it, we don't need guppy to win. More valuable than guppy would actually be like four or five HP ups. Might seem like that's obvious, but. You know, the guppy transformation is usually worth, like, 11 HP. <laughs> I would give up, like, 12 HP to have guppy. I wouldn't give up 12, but I would give up, uh, you know, 11 of my 12 to have guppy. So we froze mom. Health bar is a little distracting now. But we're done. We got boss rush, no deal with the devil. We'll take the Polaroid, and boss rush is going to have to be pretty freaking good. Convince us to go for it, and, and notched axe is not. Oh, there was another fly as well. Oh, it's 2020. Ah, uh, I hate to do it, but our HP is low enough that I'm like, ah, eh, it's better for us to be safe. Now it is literally conceivable for us to still lose at this point. The way that it would happen is just, you know, a couple of bad hits. This right now, my my win is all contained in my own hands here, basically. I'm playing as if I don't have Trinity Shield. I'm not sure whether that's the safe play or whether that's the idiot play. Because, 
you know, that would probably allow us to be more aggressive if we if we try to use Trinity Shield, but the more aggressive we play, the more likely we are to make dumb mistakes, but, you know, we can make dumb mistakes just by walking over the spikes for no reason as well, so... So that has a chance to regenerate when opened. Which I wish it would, because <laughs> I... I really don't want to take a shot at uh, at Bob's brain here. That was a really bad time for Wiggle Worm. There we go. Just got to charge up like a really big shot and completely miss. There we go. Now we're safe. A little touchy. That's okay. Life goes on. Being down 2 HP is, is really nothing to, to worry about. It's the third HP that's going to be the real killer. That means, you know, one mistake means you're dead. What this also means is that I'm probably going to drop Rainbow Worm. Because uh, the occasional, uh, the occasional Wiggle Worm is starting to freak me out a little bit. Starting to cause some problems. We'll save this pill, uh, because if we get down to zero, or, oh, what the heck? The spider spawned on top of me. At least we got an eternal heart. But if we get down to one HP, this will give us, uh, full health, if that's what it is. Um, got a Degazarune. Which is perhaps a lifesaver right now. I, I'm probably acting a little bit more aloof than I should in this situation. Like, we're getting down there and as far as HP goes. And, you know, a room like this shows up. Sometimes it, it's almost undodgeable. They'll just hit you no matter what. So, uh, I think we got a little lucky there. But we seem to be coming out of what I would consider to have been that downward spiral. So, we're probably fine. Probably no deal with the devil here. So that means very little chance of a guppy payout. But, life goes on. Take care of the riffraff first, as always. Inching ever closer. There we go. And if we need to, we can always fire diagonally on this guy. I mean, not always, but occasionally we can muster a diagonal shot that'll actually hit. So we can stand at, uh, at these directions and be okay. It's just a little bit of precision required. A little bit of luck. And just a very small amount of foresight to stay out of the way of those shots. Surprisingly tanky uh, Mr. Fred here. Maybe just our mom's knife damage is kind of shitty. We haven't really gotten any damage up, so that's not a huge surprise. We did get a deal with the devil. Extremely lucky. Mom's pearls for the luck upgrade mostly. Range, not insignificant. Gotta be really careful with the knife uh, boomerang combo because they don't stay frozen very long. Lump of coal is what it is, and... A 48 hour energy pill is what it is as well, and in this case that is, is, is useless. Let's uh, head down here. And I think we we did okay on that floor. I could have done a lot better, but I think we did alright. Let's be honest, this is not a challenge that we're looking for, like the speed challenge. By the way, requisite fuck speed, everybody in the comments, fuck speed. Um, beautiful spirit heart. Uh, what were... Uh, what we're doing here is basically just trying to survive. There's some challenges you have to kill, and some challenges you just have to live through. This is a challenge we just have to live through. Speed is a challenge we will have to kill. You know, there are, there are challenges you murder, and challenges you survive. This is a survive challenge. Don't take dumb damage. The speed challenge is, you know, it's a test of patience, man. It's a test of RNG. It's a test of how much are you willing to hold R to get an item that makes it possible. I would even... Uh, that was terrible damage, but I was incensed. Um, I would go so far as to say... I mean, I've only tried the speed challenge, I guess, twice now. Like, two real opportunities and then a bunch of holding R. Um, I would go so far as to say, though, that it's probably more conceivable that any run could win as the lost than any run can beat speed. I really feel like if you like if you don't have the if you had Nod Leaf Peeper's eye, you could still be like, well, we can win as the lost. It's gonna take 32 years, but we can win. Um, I, I think there are just some permutations of items in, in, for speed that actually are unwinnable. Like if you just get no damage, you're fucked, right? Like you just can't do it. The lo functionally, the lost is like that. But if you gave me, you know, you're like, hey. Uh, if you don't win this run of Isaac, you're gonna- we're gonna kill you. Would you rather do the speed challenge or a lost run? You don't get to hold R. I would probably say the lost run. I think- I, I mean, I'd be nervous as shit, but... Maybe I should say the... Let me put it this way. If you're- if you're going for the best EV... 
the best value on average, you'd probably take the, the speed challenge just so if you just stood in that same room, you could live for 16 minutes and maybe try to evade your captors. But if it was like an absolute thing, oh, such poor damage. If it was an absolute thing, I, you know, hook me, I'm not fighting Hush, obviously, here. If it's an absolute thing, hook me up with the loss challenge, man. I'd rather have it within my own control than uh, dictated by like, oh, first room range upgrade, I guess I'm fucking dead. You know, miracles can happen as the lost. On the speed challenge, I think it's really like, unless fucking time stops somehow. Do you have the ability to stop time? If so, kudos to you, sir. That speed challenge is probably going to seem pretty easy. Without that, I think you might be in a tricky spot. Uh, I'm excited that we're going to the chest, by the way. On challenges, you don't always get the opportunity to get that extra item gain from the chest, so I'm, I'm happy to be there. Uh, additionally... We might, I wouldn't say need, but we would we would want those items to give us a better chance against Mega Satan. Truth be told, we're probably one full health pill, one sun card away from a guaranteed win. Uh, devil card, eh, it's like very useful. I got sucked in there. Should have used my boomerang. Um, the tractor beam was the worst, man. At least we got our HP back, but uh, yeah, I mean, devil card, pill, maybe... If we get more HP on the board somewhere, we can take a uh, we can take our pill, and then if it's bad trip, we don't give a shit as much at least. Terrible, terrible damage. I've said it a couple of times here, but oh my lord, don't fuck it up. I've said it a couple times here, but really, like um, our our destiny is controlled by us right now, and I'm taking some very dumb damage. I think it's one of those things where like if you're gifted really great damage and you don't have to earn it by like actually picking up the items and, and dodging for a couple of floors. It's like be suffering from affluenza, right? Affluenza being the, when your family is very rich, you know, you, you don't understand what life is like for people who are not in that, you know, incredibly wealthy stratosphere. So you're like, what? I can't drunk drive? I'm a billionaire though, you know? It's not everybody that is extremely wealthy suffers from it, but I feel like there's some of that, there's like Isaac affluenza. That happens when you're just gifted a really good item without having to work for it. You're just like, what do you mean I, I can't take one hit of damage? I got mom's knife on our first item room. We can do whatever we want. I, like, the rules don't apply to me. But, uh, you know, the standard rule of Isaac of like, hey, actually make sure to dodge your enemies is a pretty important one. And uh, I'm starting to learn that, you know, when it's earned, it's a little bit more valuable, I think. Uh, I'm super thrilled. They, maybe my rants about... Uh, you know, actually earning your keep has uh, resonated with the game because they hooked me up with enough HP to feel pretty comfortable here. And again, uh, we don't necessarily need to not get hit here because we don't need to beat Mega Satan as soon as we go down to the next floor. We have gotten a luck upgrade or two. I never remember the lucky pennies, so... Uh, I, I don't remember if we've gotten one or more of those, but... Uh, we could do some rooms on the chest and if we like what we see, you know, get some items. Maybe that works for us, or we could fight Mega Satan right away. Ideally, I would I would really like to grab a uh, some kind of beneficial card, more beneficial than the Devil. Although the Devil is good, it's not uh, necessarily a game winner all by its lonesome. So this this could be a little bit more dicey than I originally gave it credit for to start with. So I'm a little scared. Curse of the Unknown is also quite frightening, actually. Magnet, not good. Tiny Planet, actually terrible. Rosary Fantastic, Bomber Boy I'll take. We're not gonna take Tiny Planet. It's it's one of the few items with Mom's Knife that's actually suicide. Although it does give you a huge range upgrade. <laughs> I will say that. You should probably take this opportunity to freeze uh, Krampus' head, or not Krampus' head, Mega Satan's head. Unless, what if Mega Satan is Krampus in a, in a disguise and then Isaac's mom is actually Isaac, but dressed up as a mom. I'm blowing the case wide open. Good stuff. And the sights start with like a quarter HP. That's not how I would do it, but I understand. Maybe that's the simplest way. One more hit. And it's nice to have health bars so you actually know like when the hands are going to die. You can plan your attack a little bit more and be like, okay, the hand is going to die the next time I hit it, so... We will hit it one more time. Feel like the this is where we'd like to use our bombs. Any crowd control -y situation. There's the rosary almost gone. Although someone told me, we can't tell because of Curse of the Unknown, but someone told me the rosary has been buffed. 
so that now it gives six spirit hearts instead of three. If so, that's even more of like an easy win than we already had. Just use that to get some time, basically, and then throw this down there. We did get hit again. Was really hoping to kill something. <laughs> it's been surprisingly tough. There we go. I don't think it matters that we kill uh, Greed last. Good lord. Thank you. Much appreciated. There we go. We got through that phase more quickly than I would have expected. And even just getting one free attack out of... Oh, that's so bad. Even just getting one free attack out of the boomerang... Without having risk of being hit seems so useful. Almost got hit by that one right there. And it's a good one. Okay. Almost dead. Ah, I had to choose whether or not to stay in there. If I'd known that he was going to do that attack, I definitely would have stayed. So we've been hit four times. If we got three extra spirit hearts, we still have like at least two hits left. Maybe three. Uh, if we... If we got six spirit hearts, we will not die. That's just, like, uh, guaranteed. If, as long as I stay square to those shots, we basically can't be hit. Yeah. Trinity Shield pretty much carrying us there. The only thing we want to watch out for is the Brimstone attack, but we won! I mean, it's, it was an easy challenge. I had fun with it, though. We did find ourselves in a little bit of a tricky position a couple times there, but there's another one done. We've unlocked the Poker Chip, which we've already seen on a daily, but for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.